but then in the 70s we suffered a series of economic shocks, and then Ronald Reagan won the election in 1980. And his goal was to tear it all down. Instead of war on poverty, Ronald Reagan declared war on the poor. He announced that 90% of pollution comes from plants and trees. And, and he slashed, his highest priority was slashing taxes for the rich and making sure that the rich became richer and richer. And he succeeded. And for the past 35 years, that ideology has dominated the United States. But there's something that's important to remember. Nobody thought Reagan could win. Everybody knew that he was a right-wing wacko. He was an extremist. There was no way that he would ever become president. We were glad that the Republicans nominated him, because of course that party would win. But he did win. Partly because the United States had a rough time under Carter, but also because people thought that Reagan believed what he was saying. And the American voter is interesting. They'll forgive a lot if they think you believe what you're saying. And that is largely what's powering Bernie Sanders today. People know that Bernie Sanders believes what he says and says what he believes. The difference is that what Bernie Sanders is saying is true, and most of the American people agree with it. So, can Bernie Sanders win? Of course he can. to tear America apart, Bernie Sanders can come out of left field to rebuild America. Yeah. And we can restore the right to organize. We can restore a fair tax system. We can do what it takes to confront climate disruption. And we can pursue a long march towards true racial and gender equality.